Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation today. The given equation is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube up to x power 7 over x power 4 plus 1 times 1 plus x whole cube equal to 3. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be equal to negative 1. Done. x power 4 cannot be negative for real values of x. So there is no constraint for first bracket. Okay. Now what will happen at x equal to 1? Let's find out this value. So our left hand side we will have 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to last one. How many onces are there? Total 8 onces are there. Denominator would be 1 power 4 that is 1 plus 1 first bracket and second bracket 1 plus 1 whole power 3. So I will write 8 onces so 8 denominator will be 2 times 2 power 3 that means 8. So I will cancel this 8 and 8 by writing over there 1. So left hand side is half. And what is right hand side? That is 3 given. So it is not equal to 3. That means x is not solution of this equation. x equal to 1 is not solution of this equation. So conclusion is x cannot be equal to negative 1 and x cannot be equal to 1 also. You must be thinking why I am calculating 1 also. That answer will come in next couple of minutes. 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube up to x power 7. I will demonstrate two methods. First method using GP. I am interesting actually to find out this sum. So this method is I will call using geometric progression. So we know the sum formula in GP or geometric progression that is a 1 minus r raised to the power n a is first term, r is common ratio, n is total number of terms over 1 minus r where mod r less than 1. Equality hold, won't hold true. So r cannot be 1. That is why I calculated for x equal to 1 what will happen. Okay, let's find out this summation. A value as per our given expression this expression a is 1 common ratio if you will divide x square with x or x with 1 or x cube with x square common ratio is x first term is 1 total number of terms 8 how many x's are there 7 and 1 is one constant so 8 number of terms n equal to 8 so let us put the value a1 so no need to write 1 minus x raised to the power 8 over 1 minus x. Now you can see x cannot be equal to 1 why it was necessary. So here I can consider 1 minus x raised to the power 8 over 1 minus x or x power 8 minus 1 over x minus 1. Both values we can write by multiplying our numerator denominator by constant minus 1. This is one way. Second approach is I will write and multiply numerator denominator with x minus 1. See what I am saying x square plus up to x power 7. Now I will multiply numerator denominator with x minus 1. Okay. Let's expand. So once I will multiply this bigger bracket where 8 terms are there with x. What will happen? x plus x square plus x cube up to last term would be x power 8. Now with minus 1, I will write all the terms minus 1 minus x minus x square up to minus sign minus x power 7 and denominator is as it is x minus 1. As x cannot be equal to 1. Remember we already discussed that point. Now I can see I can cancel x with x 
negative x square with ne positive x square, x cube with negative x cube. So x power 7 negative sign. Here it will be x power 7 somewhere. So what is left in the numerator? That is x power 8 minus 1 over denominator is unchanged x minus 1. Same result you are having using algebraic manipulation and same result you are having using GP. Summation of finite GP. Now I will put this value to our equation numerator. So let me write here. I will write here I will write x power 8 minus 1 over x minus 1. This is our numerator. Okay. Now I will write the remaining terms as it is. x power 4 plus 1 times x plus 1 whole cube and right hand side is 3. Now I will write my numerator separately. Numerator is x power 8 minus 1. I can write this one as x power 4 whole square minus 1 whole square. Now difference of two squares a square minus b square a plus b. So I will write x power 4 plus 1 a minus b. So x power 4 minus 1. So x power 4 plus 1 as it is unchanged. This will be as it is. Here I will again use difference of two squares formula. We can see this is x square whole square minus 1 whole square. So I can write x power 4 plus 1 unchanged. And here I will write x square plus 1 times x square minus 1. Again I will use here difference of two squares a square minus b square a plus b a minus b. So ultimately what I am going to get actually x square plus 1 x square plus 1 x power 4 plus 1 x square plus 1 x plus 1 and then x minus 1. This is what I will get after simplifying our numerator only, this term only. And this result is this. Let us put over there. So I will write x power 4 plus 1, x power 2 plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 1, or x minus 1 times x power 4 plus 1 times x plus 1 whole cube equal to 3. Now whatever I can cancel, I will cancel x minus 1, x minus 1. Now x power 4 plus 1, x power 4 plus 1. Now x plus 1 and this power I will cancel by writing over there too. So what is left? x square plus 1 over x plus 1 whole square equal to 3. Now I will cross multiply the written terms. So I will write x square plus 1 equal to 3 times x plus 1 whole square. Now I will use one identity that is a plus b whole square. So let us expand it and solve it. x square plus 1 equal to 3 times x plus 1 whole square a plus b whole square. So let us apply in the RHS. I will write 3 times x square plus 2x plus 1 and now I will expand it. 3x square plus 6x plus 3 and left hand side is x square plus 1. Take all the term to RHS. So 3x square minus x square, it will become 2x square. 6x is alone, so it would be 6x as it is 3 minus 1, so 2 equal to 0. Divide this equation by 2. So I will write x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula. Minus b, so minus 3 plus minus square root b square 
3 square is 9 minus 4 a c so minus 4 divided by 2 a so 2 so our answer is x is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2 these values are our solution for the given equation which is rational in nature i hope this video is meaningful to you thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care